Okay, guys, today I'm going to talk about the um, cut level, the cut Patrick's Dream from SpongeBob um, Battle for Bikini Bottom. This is a cut version of Patrick's Dream, obviously. And I'll leave a link in the description on how to get this. You can get it on the GameCube version and the Xbox version with emulator, but you can't do it with the PS2 version. So, um, here, the only way to get here to actually explore the level is to have the moon jump cheat on. You need that. So, you can play as Patrick or SpongeBob. You can play as SpongeBob. And, um, the only way to get here is to use moon jump. Seems like there's gonna be like a checkpoint or something here. Or something. I don't know. As far as I can tell, it does nothing. If only I could actually... Is there like an invisible... There's like an invisible wall there, yeah. And so let's start exploring. So, um... Here, there's some falling cherries. Let me wait for one to come. Um, well, okay. These cherries actually hurt you. Pretty much all the food hurts you. Except the stuff that you stand on. Pretty much all of it hurts you. You never need the moon jump again. Just saying. And here is just um, a vamp. And of course, the backgrounds are screwed up. Crap. Okay. Well, okay. And here are some ice creams that you just jump on. For some reason, when I land on them, everything else shakes. Maybe they're supposed to fall or something. Because that, that would at least make the level a little harder. But they don't fall. So obviously this is really unfinished, really easy, just really everything. Now it's getting all laggy. But yeah, and here we have a box. The box works. There's a golden spatula here, but I collected it. As you can see, I have, well, I have another one, and I'll show you why in a second. But there's a golden spatula here, and actually when you collect the golden spatula, it, it does not save, even if you have quick save on. Um, in this box, yeah, yeah, obviously you have to open that. So, um, here we have a, one of those robot spawners. Oh my god. Oh god. That, no. No. Oh, and might as well show this. Just look at this. When you fall in the level, you don't die. This is what happens. And then you have that. I just found that really cool. But seriously. I'm gonna go back to the level because there's still more to talk about. Sorry guys, it's just that, um, the recorder I'm using takes up a lot of resources. Um, but let's go. So I need to go back to show you one other thing, which I found found kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, let's just go over here. And those onions hurt you too. So. Let me just go through everyone who's just kind of floating around here. Um, so, wait. First we have a rock tiki down here. We have Larry right here. A random fish NPC. Um, what else? Another fish NPC. One of the robots. A stink robot. NPC. NPC. Normal robot. This is where stuff gets interesting. Now we have a, just a regular tiki. Damn it. <laughs> okay guys, I accidentally killed one of the most interesting parts of this. So yay. Anyway, here's just a normal tiki. Crap. I keep forgetting. That was close. Crap. And look at this, a different, um, more detailed, different shape and everything, explosion tiki. 
has the same effects and everything. This is a different flying tiki. Um, kind of weird. Doesn't do any damage, but it deserves to die. Uh, and then just a normal one of those. I really don't care about that guy. And of course one of the cowboys, and one of those, um, slippery guys. Um, let me just go up here. And yeah, the level is really easy, and um, something really interesting is this. Jump across the toenails. You press that on the last toenail. Look, it even brings you to this part, which is kind of weird. Maybe they expected it to be like too. I I don't really know. It's just kind of weird. Or whatever. But yeah, I already got the um going back to here because I had to do this in an, um two cuts because one didn't record.